Hey guys, so what we're going to do today is go over an exercise on functions within Mark Price's iOS 10 and Swift 3 Udemy course. It is section 2, lecture 20 as of this date, and it's exercise on functions. So normally I put this, which I will put this, into my iDev journey, but I know there's some people who are just searching, you know, maybe they want to follow along with someone else doing this exact exercise. So I figured I'd make it a standalone video as well. But if you want to see me go through like all of section two, I'm going to make uh, two separate videos on that. I've already make, made quite a few going through, you know, different uh, levels of iOS development, learning it, uh, storyboards and, and things like that. So you can check that out on my channel. But I figured I'd make this a separate video for, for all of those who just want to see this. So let's get to that. So the first thing to do, create a new Xcode playground. Done. Uh, create a function named add that takes two parameters of type double and returns the sum of the two numbers. So we want to create a function named add. That's not right. Add. We can name these uh, num1 and then it said it wants to be a double so we do it like that and then we do num2. You can name whatever you want but that's just what I'm going to name this for sake of argument. And then within it, what did it want us to do? It wanted us to return the sum of the two numbers. So we could do return num1 plus num2. And I don't, yeah, you don't need a colon or anything, so that should be right, right? No, maybe not. Maybe not right. Would I have to send this over like this? Make that a double like that. So that should work, right? So I don't see that's returning anything, but let's let's go on to the next deal. Sometimes this is slow for me, so I just have to keep it moving and then uh, I'll come back to it in a bit. So that was question two. Wait, all right, so question one, question two. Now question three, create a function named subtract that takes two parameters of type into, so integers and returns the difference of the two numbers. So basically, we're just doing the same thing but subtracting. And then we just return it, same exact way as last time but subtracting. But what did it want us to do? Returns the difference of the two numbers, so. Oh, that's right, what we didn't do is assign numbers to the actual variables, correct? See, I'm still having trouble with this reader over here because it still says hello playground, but it's obviously not hello playground. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this and then, and then I'm going to paste it back in. Hopefully that'll fix it. So now it shouldn't have, I don't think it should have anything because we haven't declared num1 to be any type of number except for a double. So basically the next thing we do is the same exact thing but we multiply floats and then after that we're going to divide double so let's just hurry up and do that already so because it's really not that difficult And then what we're going to do next is all of those functions, all of those, what does it say? All of those functions and pass different values into the parameters and ensure they are producing the correct results. Uh, is this a miss? I don't know. This may be a misprint. <laughs> but so basically we're giving all these numbers. Uh, okay. So it looks like it wants us to assign these it wants us to reference or, or call these functions into a situation where we are actually declaring the numbers. So we can use var or let. Let's just do let, but make it nice and neat. Let, uh, I don't think I can use add. Let's do let plus add. But these are doubles, so actually let's not do that. Let's do 3.3. Uh, I think I have to put an equal sign there, maybe? Yeah, 
Okay, and now it, it goes back up and says, oh, this is the last thing that num1 and num2 equaled within this function. We just do that with all of them, let minus, and make num2 equal seven, and we'll see that this doesn't work because it needs to be an integer, integer to an integer. So if we take these out, it works. So eight, eight minus seven, eight minus three. Even if we put a double over here, it won't work because obviously they're declared it to be an integer. Hasn't changed yet until I get out of there. As you can see, there's errors. There's an error right here. It just didn't change right here. Three. A foot can only hold like so many bytes. It's only it's only so many bytes worth while a double is, is is a lot bigger than a float so normally they say use a use a double some people would like to say oh no I want to use a float because it's going to use less memory well it's not worth it in the long run I mean if you need to change it that means you'd have to go back and change the float and the only reason you need to do that is just if there's an error in your code so so I think that's it it just wanted us to throw values in there, make sure it worked each and every way, made sure that the double worked right, or made sure, first of all, made sure that our function worked right, made sure that we declared it correctly in order for you know two doubles to come out as a double, and in order for us to only be allowed to put in doubles there as well as integer, float, and double again. So that's the end of this exercise, Swift 3 Functions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't checked out my IDEV journey yet, be sure to do so if you want to, you know, get on this journey with me and, and I'll support you guys while y'all support me and it'll it'll help us get closer to our goal, our end goal, and that's to be an iOS developer one way or another. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.